Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. First, a word from our sponsor. Daily Compliance News for January 11, 2024, the SAP Again edition. We begin with that story from the FCPA blog, who routinely breaks uh, the, uh, the FCPA enforcement actions before anyone else. Harry Kasson reporting that SAP has agreed uh, with the DOJ and SEC for a fine and penalty of $222 million to settle global FCPA large bait eva- or violations. Rather. Um, this uh, involves uh, credits to, for payments or to enforcement authorities in South Africa for related conduct and for forfeiture paid to the Securities and Exchange Commission. Uh, this is the uh, second uh, major criminal matter settled in conjunction with South African authorities. So uh, good to see uh, that tandem of the DOJ and South African authorities uh, working together again. Uh, we had corruption issues in South Africa, Indonesia, um, and other countries as well. Uh, Azerbaijan. Uh, one more. The settlement, as noted, is with both the Securities and Exchange Commission and with the Department of Justice. Next up, regulators approve a new type of Bitcoin fund and a boon for the crypto industry. From the New York Times, federal regulators on Wednesday approved a new financial product that tracks the price of Bitcoin, a landmark moment for cryptocurrency that proponents hope will increase investment in the technology. The SEC authorized 11 applications by financial firms to offer what is known as exchange-traded funds tied to Bitcoin, a potentially simpler way for people to invest in digital assets on traditional platforms like NASDAQ. Uh, Some of the world's largest financial companies were approved to offer products known as ETFs, which could begin trading as soon as tomorrow. Um, From the Wall Street Journal Risk and Compliance Journal, David It's Magala reporting that FINRA calls AI an emerging risk in its annual regulatory report, saying that deploying AI in the industry could virtually affect all aspects of a dealer broker's operation, and that firms looking to deploy such technology should focus on the regulatory implications of doing so, particularly in areas such as money laundering, public communications, cybersecurity, and risk management. And our final story comes to us from Reuters, which reports that Microsoft's OpenAI investment could face EU merger probe, says EU regulators. Um, The software giant has put $10 billion into OpenAI, and it's really not surprising that the uh, EU would be taking a look at this. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow.